Okay, so today we're going to talk about the level one stretches, and the stretches are not mandatory. Um, so if your dog will not allow you to handle you to handle them in this fashion, don't worry about it. And then the hind, the hind limb stretches aren't great, are not good for dogs with hip dysplasia, so you don't even have to worry about about them. But I wanted to show them. I want us to have something to do with our dogs that builds trust and builds handling skills, and you know just we feel like doing it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do Caboose's front limbs and his front limb and his hind limb, and then we're going to switch them around. So we're going to make sure we do an extension first. We're going to pick up the foot and we're going to extend. <laughs> yes, good boy. As far as he will let you extend him. That's a cookie for you. <laughs> and in addition to our extension, we need a flexion. No, no, go climb. Good. And we need to take this forelimb and we need to bend it and press it up. Yes, good boy. What a good job. Some of his fidgeting and fussing can have a lot to do with the fact that we've never done it before. So he's like, what's going on? So we're going to do the same thing to the hind limb. We're going to cuff the ankle, stretch. Yes, good boy. And he's going to get a cookie afterwards. <laughs> And we're going to do the flexion where you take everything up, we bend it all. Yes. Good job. Very good. We're going to turn them around. Do both sides. So I have both hands on him. One's under his elbow, one's under his paw. Stretching and then a flexion. Yes. Good job. And now the hind limbs. Hands on the knee, hands on the ankle, stretch, and flexion. Good job, Bubba. Good job. The hind limbs can also be stretched out, kind of like they're hiking their leg. Yes, good boy. I have a cookie for you. And you're going to work out both sides of the body evenly. So we want to do both sides. Yes, good boy. Good job, Bubba. One of the other exercises is called a passive range of motion. And what we're going to do is move his limbs for him in the full rotation that the limb makes, right? So we're going to take the arm out and we're going to bend it and bring it out again. So we're doing the full rotation for him. What a good boy. This is again, if your dog will allow you to handle them in this fashion, so we're gonna, and you wanna move forward and backwards with the limb. What a good boy. What a good boy. So we're essentially doing some exercise for the dog. What a good boy. And I can take the back limb. Again, we're not forcing any joint or any limb in a manner that they, the dog does not enjoy. We're not gonna force it into a position. Oh, oh, let me move you, Bubba. <laughs> good boy. We're gonna let him relax again from being moved. Good boy. So he's nice and relaxed, and we're gonna roll this leg. And let's just go let us, we can take, and we're gonna work the front limbs. We can take both the front limbs and bicycle pedal them. What a good boy. What a good boy. It does take a degree of trust that your dog will be on their back, that they will allow you to handle them like this. Um, and it might take some practice. And also he's only six months and he's a floppy puppy. So <laughs> it's not the best angle. We're going to take what we can get. We're going to try to move this one. This one doesn't want to bend. He's all stiff, Tommy. There we go. <laughs> and a cha cha interruption. So, good. Taking their limbs and run, running them like they're a bicycle or moving each one individually. But essentially, you're going to be doing the exercise for the dog. Passive range of motion.